Hey everybody, just want to let you know where I was at with the uh, vertical stab. Um, kind of laid out the parts here so you can see the size comparison with the um, with the inside of the um, vertical stab. Um, this is that custom part that I made with the uh, helicopter parts um, that will attach to the uh, torque rod inside the um, uh, the vertical stab here. Um, I got these uh, locking uh, ball link connectors. Um, that are spring loaded so that uh, we don't have to worry about stuff coming up apart. Um, I use 6 inch um, 440 push rod um, threaded on both sides. Um, that ended up being about the right size once everything's together. That'll put the servo right inside this second hole here. Um, and then this of course is the servo with the servo tray and then these are the little risers to get it at the right height inside the um, side there. It gives us a good uh, glue surface also. Um, I went with the uh, high-tech um, HS225 metal gear for this. Um, so anyways, um, that's the setup. I think uh, what we'll do first is uh, we'll go ahead and glue this servo tray together. And we're just doing this to uh, test fit everything. Um, I'll use epoxy later. Uh, we just want to make sure that the height is correct and everything moves smoothly before we do our final assembly inside that vertical stab. It's a lot easier to fix it now than to fix it once it's in there. Um, for example, having to use the helicopter part here. Alright, so let me mount this. So we're going to have to put the servo in afterwards. Okay, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see in there, but it'll go something like that. And we can start threading the ball link connectors on there. And I'm going to tighten them down as far as they'll go here. Might have to do the final tightening off camera here because I'm not sure how easy this is going to be. And I don't yet own a vise, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But like I said, we're just uh, making sure that everything works here before the final assembly. Alright, so you can kind of see how that's going to function. And I don't yet have the actual balls that go on the servo, so um, I'm going to have to get that and I'll show that to you in the next step. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
tighten everything up here as far as I can get it to, to go. And I'll be right back. Okay guys, I got the push rods done for our rudder. Um, got those tightened up. Um, kind of a pain. I'm sure there's some special tool that I could have used, but uh, all I had was pliers. So, anyhow, and then uh, while I was putting together the um, servo tray here, um, I kind of went ahead and reinforced um, where it mounts here, just with uh, some popsicle sticks, um, sanded it smooth. It's because popsicle sticks have kind of a waxy surface to them and that added a little bit of uh, support there so anyways um, just wanted to test fit see how that worked out uh, I'm gonna have to take this off of the um, assembly here in order to get it into the rudder but anyways like I said I was just kind of test fitting everything and making sure that uh, all was good so on to the next step okay so here's where we're at I've got the parts uh, inside here I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that very well but anyways you can see the torque rod um, it's not permanently mounted I'll end up um, either using high saw or uh, 30 minute epoxy here but you can see where I've got the servo mounted um, little change in plans I couldn't use the ball mounts because the hobby store did not have any so I uh, switched over to these uh, locking um, connectors there you can see I think it's gonna work out alright um, the only change I'm gonna make is uh, you can see where that servo tray is and you can see I've got the um, where the uh, uh, connections connect there um, I'm gonna switch that servo around so that um, if I ever need to get that out in the future I'll actually be able to uh, the way it is right now I don't think physically I'd be able to remove that um, so if I switch it around so that the longer part of the servo is uh, facing towards the uh, front of the vertical stab here, I think that's going to work out a lot better. But other than that, everything uh, moves the way it's supposed to. Nothing really binds or anything like that. Um, you can kind of see in there the ball mounts, they do just barely brush up against the um, sides there. I kind of sanded it down a little bit, but it doesn't uh, hold it up or anything like that. It just barely brushes, and unfortunately, that's the uh, widest point of the um, travel there. So, anyways, um, so that's where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and take out that servo and switch it around, and then I'll uh, be able to glue everything in. So, I'll see you on the next step. Okay, check it out. I switched the servo direction around um, so that we've got the uh, servo arm on uh, this side rather than um, the servo flipped around like this where it was just basically backwards. Um, this way if I ever need to get that servo out it's going to be a heck of a lot easier and I've got better access to the screws and everything. So um, kind of test fitted everything, uh, made sure that it's working all right and uh, I did um, take 30 minute epoxy and I epoxied in that servo tray. Um, it just made it a little bit easier to make sure that the um, uh, the lengths of the servo rods and everything were, were correct because otherwise the servo was kind of moving around a little bit. But anyways, um, all I need to do, I think I'm going to take a high saw and uh, go in there and go ahead and permanently mount that uh, torque rod so um, once I do that we will finally be done with this um, I'll go ahead and tighten that set screw um, just basically going through this hole here um, took me a couple holes before I figured out <laughs> the right angle so I'll have to fill that one and that one there so um, once I do that I'll be able to um, patch it up prime it and uh, hopefully paint it. Um, you can kind of see this side is primer here and this side is my first attempt at airbrush but uh, I think I need to do a little bit better there it's not quite right plus I have this shiny streak here that uh, I'm not quite sure why I have that but anyway so I'm gonna repaint that so we can start putting some decals on so now it's getting kind of exciting so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and uh, high saw in that torque rod and we will be done.